Hey everybody and welcome to a video on how to install and use the Sunken Land mod template. Uh, this is for any mod dev that wants to have rapid projects. What that means is code already set up for you and code that you can use very rapidly to not only package to Thunderstore automatically and Nexus automatically. Um, really all it does is give you a zip file in the end that you could just drag and drop straight to the site. You don't have to zip it up or anything like that yourself. So going through the readme on GitHub for this repository, uh, it does say that you can use the command line and you can use JetBrains Writer. I'm gonna go over how to use Visual Studio as well. Um, you can go through the JetBrains Writer stuff. If you have JetBrains Writer, you can do the command line if you prefer command line. Um, I don't have instructions for Visual Studio, so I will be making this video and taking the screenshots from it. So first things first, you can either use the command line to clone the repository, or you can use the UI to go up into the code button here, make sure it's HTTPS and click this copy. Open up Visual Studio and click clone repository. And you can either paste that link in here, or again, you can use the command line. Paste the link in, make sure that you have a valid uh, place to put this. This is the default is in source repos for your user. And you're going to click clone. And you'll notice on the right hand side that we're going to start getting um, files and templates and things like that for us that are already pre set up. So here's Thunderstore. Here's the plugin. We have our manifest. We have our readme. We have everything that we need. This template should not be used directly. You do not have to use this template directly. Anything that you change here will transfer to any project that you create from this template. So if I update this, I recommend that you just update your template to either reflect the changes or re-download and re-clone. So a lot of the values in this template are going to be replaced when you create a new thing. So uh, you don't have to do this every single time. So Thunderstore is already here. This is your Thunderstore package. Make sure you edit your manifest um, in your project once you clone this so you don't have to consistently retype this or if something changes or anything like that. If your Discord, you know, you want that to be a direct link to your Discord, change it here. Um, I would not recommend changing the mod name because you're going to have to change it anyways. But if you have any very common dependencies, I would add them here um, if they are across all of your projects. That way you don't have to keep typing it. So... We're essentially done. Unless we want to change something about this template, you don't have to touch this template anymore, aside from the fact that we now need to install it. So go up to Tools, go to Command Line, and go to the Developer Command Prompt. In the instructions on the page, it says that you need to navigate to the directory and then run this command. We've just done that in Visual Studio's uh, user interface, okay? It opened a command line for us. It dropped us directly on that directory, which is the navigate to directory section. And then we need to run that command. So if you copied it and then you just right click, you'll have that command here and you can click enter and it will install it. The short name for this is the SLMT or the sunken land mod template. This is now installed on our machine. What that means is that anything in this repository can now be used as a quote template that we can use to cook consistently make new projects. So what that means now is I can go to file and new and go to project. And when it loads, you will not have this on the left side, your first go around. I've done this in the past, so it's already there for me, but I uninstalled it for you. If you don't see it on the left hand side, you're one of the people that are doing this for the first time. You can type in sunken land and you should see it here. If it is not here, you have likely messed up in the process at some point and feel free to reach out to me if you need any help. But we can select this and we can click next. Now, make sure that you are placing the solution and the project in the same directory. This makes it not only cleaner because you have less folders, but it also makes it extremely compatible with my project because that's what I selected when I initially made the project. I do tell you to do the very same thing in Rider right here. So if you're doing writer, make sure that you do that as well, but just name your project, whatever you want to do. I'm going to call this one a uh, video template. 
misspelled, but it's good. Um, we're going to click next. It's going to ask you in Visual Studio does this. Writer does not do this. OK. It's going to ask you the author name. This is a value that can be replaced. I'm going to put, you know, test author, right? Just something crazy and click create. We're going to see everything that was in our template automatically populated for us. We can see that our uh, project is named video template. Our solution is also video template. And if we pop open the plugin class, you can see that it renamed the classes. It renamed the namespace. It renamed the mod name and everything for you, including the logger. All of this gets replaced. That's why I say don't use the template directly. You can just create a new project every single time. So the author name was replaced for me as well. It's auto automatically set up to work with packaging Thunderstore and packaging your Nexus um, after you build the mod. So let's say that you're done with coding and you've done everything that you need to do. You're ready to get ready to upload it. Make sure that you go into Thunderstore, change this to your mod name, change your description to what your description is, add any dependencies. And again, if you had dependencies specified in your template, they will populate right here. Um, so this one, I typically change in my template. That way I don't have to change it across projects um, unless it's a project that I've already made. So my Discord, this isn't a direct link to me. It's the direct link to the Sunken Land modding. But I tend to put like my own Discord here or something of that nature, maybe the GitHub project uh, link, the repository. So replace these values, get an icon, go to your change log, change this format if you need to. Um, this format is really, really easy in Writer. In Visual Studio, it is not. Um, because in Writer, I can just click on the left side and click plus. In Visual Studio, it's probably um, more beneficial to you to change the format of this. So make sure you do all of that based on the uh, documentation for Thunderstore. You can go to any community page. It doesn't matter. This developer dropdown is always the same. Make sure that you have your package format docs and you'll see that the icon readme change log manifest all of that's here for you it gives you criteria your mod name cannot have these characters at all so make sure all of that set up they also give you a template as well very similar to the template that i give you here just replace the values set it up get it ready and then your environment props if you're having issues with the template this template assumes that it's on your C drive. It also cascades these references. So this reference, sunken land game path, is then used in the Bepinex game path, is then used in the core lib, is then used in the publicized assemblies. So typically when I publicize, I just do it directly in the game folder, and then I use that as my reference um, for anything that I need. I don't load my mods into that plugins folder, but I know some of you do. That's why this is defaulted. If you don't want it to load directly in there, or you've got like an R2 mod man profile or a vortex profile or something that you want to directly shoot it to shoot it right there. If you have any targets that you need to, um, make it after or anything like that, this is a template that I have from Valheim. Um, so this can be replaced after build is the default if you have something like il repack or some other nuget package that that does something at after build you should do it after that so like for il repack you would say like il repack um, and you would just change it and it would happen after that process so we're essentially done you can repeat this process over and over and over again when you're ready to upload a thunderstore change all your files the readme that's right here will be copied to the Thunderstore readme right here. The reason that there is two is because Thunderstore requires one. And this readme being outside of that Thunderstore folder allows this to show up on GitHub uh, should you make that public. So it automatically copies it for you. So the content's going to be the same. When you're ready to build, go up to release, go to build, and you can either hit the... Um, keys to build the solution or you can click rebuild solution if you're having issues so i'm going to click build and you'll see down here that it says succeeded everything was fine if you pop open your thunderstore folder it should have a zip for you 
There's also a Nexus folder that will have a zip file. It is versioned for you as well. So it'll have the mod name underscore the version. And you'll be able to just drag and drop those directly to Thunderstore when you're ready. So that's it for this video. That's how you use these templates. If you need to use another one or make a new project, just go to new and click it again and click next and follow the exact same steps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. But this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much.